Hi, I'm Marshall with TechNaction. Hello, I'm Wig. I'm senior engineer in Android team. Okay, uh, today we want to show people how to work with Android on embedded devices. And um, we have a lot of customers using Android. And Wig, you know, we have a lot of customers, they have problems with Android on an embedded device because they think it is like a mobile phone or a tablet and they expect the same experience but a lot of things just don't work on an embedded device, right? Uh, so, what kind of problems you get in your mailbox? Because I get a lot, but what you see a lot, like OTA, right? Yes. Is, yeah, so um, OTA is something that customers ask for uh, on an Android device and building an OTA server, is that something you will do in a couple days? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, uh, building an OTA server for Android is something that will take you weeks to build, to test, to rocketize it, deploy it, make sure it is secure, right? So, uh, that is like a complete side project with too many years of manpower uh, dedicated in it to really do that if you want to scale it for, for a couple a couple tens of thousands of devices, correct? Uh, other things that I get in my mailbox is device management. Yeah? Yeah. And it's the same. Also, you need to have a server infrastructure, right? So, uh, um, what other things we see? We see uh, the uh, apps that they want to launch in full screen in kiosk mode, right? That is one that we see quite often. Um, another one, um, we always smiling when we see the email is people want the App Store, yeah. <laughs> like Play Store, <laughs> Google Play Store. But they forget that Google Play Store requires your device to be certified by Google CTS, right? And Google is just not going to respond to you if you don't sell millions of devices. And a Samsung uh, can do that with their phones because they sell millions of Galaxy phones to customers. But if you're building an embedded device based, based on um, um, a song from us and you integrate that in a kiosk, Good luck selling millions of, of devices. The market is not there. You maybe sell 10,000, 50,000 devices to your customers if you are successful. But that is not enough for Google to take a look at CTS certification, right? Yes. And so these are the problems that we see. And a lot of these problems are big challenges for engineers, right? Yeah. Uh, so what we do is we try to support our customers and we find partners that can help us with solving these issues. And for Android, one of our partners that we will introduce today is Anteria. Anteria, they provide managed uh, Android for embedded uh, products. So Technation partnered with Emteria and you can find Emteria demo right off our Technation software loader that we have running here. So what you see here is a dev kit from us based on the IMX 8 and Plus and um, it is startup like you purchase it um, out of the box. So on the HDMI you see the Technation software loader. And so shall we just install that? Uh, okay. So it's simple. Just select the Amteria, right? And make sure that the display is set on HDMI and the baseboard is on the on the one board because that is what we what we have here. So this is the demo image that we have. And um, let's first install this. The installation will take about an, uh, an hour uh, because our Technician software loader connects to the Technician cloud and downloads the complete runtime image and install it on your dev kit. So the only clicks that you had to make already made uh, by Vic. So now it's downloading and installing. So we go fast forward on, on this part and we are back with you as soon as the installation is complete. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, welcome back. We are complete with the installation, right? So, um, 
what, uh, what we do now. It say congratulations, power cycle the unit. So let's do that, right? Yeah. So power off and power on. So okay, so now Amteria uh, Android has been downloaded, installed on the device, and now it will boot for the first time. A first time will take some time. Uh, like one minute, one and a half minute, because the software have to merge onto the hardware, correct? So, but we need to do more, mm. um, because we need to actually bring the device into the Amteria console, right? Can, uh, can you show us how we do that, uh, Vic? Sure. Okay. We, uh, we need to go to Amteria website and the registered uh, account. Uh, okay, so the account uh, doesn't cost money, right? So yeah. uh, just a free account. And so we already did that because we tested this before the movie, right? Yeah. So, okay, so you are now on the login page, correct? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, we log in directly. Okay. So, okay, so this is the dashboard for MTA for uh, from uh, the management console, correct? Yeah. Uh, so, um, what the customer need to do? Uh, I think the f they need to uh, get a license, right? Yes. And um, people need to know, uh, contact us at sales at technaction.com and request a coupon code. Uh, we have a partnership with MTA. Uh, so uh, contact us, give us your proof of purchase and we are more than happy to send you a coupon code so that you can uh, test drive Amteria Android and um, yeah, what the customer do in that case? They need to get the coupon code entered in Amteria uh, backend console, right? So yes. where do they do that? Yes, we need to choose license hyperlink and uh, click on manager. Yeah, and they say redeem, uh, redeem full share. Okay, so they can enter the coupon code over there. Yeah. And then they get a license for three devices, so you can test it for three units. Um, so we did that already, right? Yeah. Uh, so, okay, there, there it is. So we have three license keys, right? Activation codes. And yes. uh, so, um, what do we do? We, we have that, uh, that is a very long code. So what do, uh, do we need to do? We need to copy that code onto our device to link the two together, right? So that the device connect to the Amteria cloud and that the cloud will then merge the unit into our account so we can manage it, correct? Yes. Okay, so we need to enter this license key on our dev kit. Okay, okay, hey, um, it is fully booted. So shall we, shall we just uh, go through there and we find the license key uh, requirement in a minute, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, so there's a logo with the next button. Uh, so, uh, okay, uh, the location, okay, choose US. Uh, and here we can set the time and everything, but uh, it is working with NTP, so it's already current time, right? So just go next. Uh, Wi-Fi now, we have yeah. RJ45 LAN cable, so we, we don't need the Wi-Fi. We need Wi-Fi, you can always do that, right? Um, activation, so this is recording the license, I think, yes. right? Uh, so shall we just activate the, the, okay. So they have two options here, continue with Amteria account or continue with activation code. We need to choose the activation code, right? The one right. in the bottom, okay. Can click there. And then we need to type the, the license key. And this keyboard is connected to the dev kit. So I need to key that in. Uh, let me uh, do that. Uh, uh, okay. Um, well, there's really a long code uh, to uh, and I go wrong. Right? Yeah. Yes. I forget. I forget a part of the code. Okay. Uh, that is not going to work in that case. Um, so uh, let's let's do the last part. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The line is full, so that should. Confirmation required, okay. 
so you just need to say it's okay. And your copy of Emteria OS is activated. Okay, so I didn't make a typo. Okay, so we are now uh, confirmed to be activated with an active license. Okay, uh, so what other things do they have? Uh, no, we don't want to update in the movie. Uh, this is the EULA, uh, so we read that already, um, so we just agree with that. And then it's a reboot required, so we have to reboot the unit? Yes. Okay, so uh, press the button. Okay, restarting. So what we did now is we enter the license key so that the unit can connect to the cloud so that it is uh, feasible and manageable in our console in a minute, right? Yeah. But uh, Android is a very secure operation system. So we still have to do a little bit configuration on the unit on um, on the next boot, right? Yeah. And so once Android is 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 booted on the device. Uh, can you show us where we make those those uh, adjustments so that we can manage the uh, interior Android on the device? Okay. Yeah. Sure. So just wait a couple of seconds because it's still booting. Yeah. And so um, once it is booted up, um, we are almost there. Yes. Um, okay. Okay, very quick. You go into the applications, and there I see in the middle there is an Emteria setting. So that is Emteria uh, control panel in, in the Android, uh, Android build, correct? Yes. Okay, so can you open that? So let's, let's see. So the first section is on display. I already see a couple of things to solve uh, for uh, our customers. One is uh, screen orientation. So if you want to uh, landscape or portrait, you can uh, do that, right? Yeah. Another thing is kiosk mode and keep awake so that the unit will uh, keep active. This is all very, very uh, good uh, functions that a lot of customers will, will be very happy to see. Uh, so another one is uh, auto start that is to auto launch uh, application right so that's the other one that we already had and uh, then I see they have a VNC uh, server built in which means that from a remote location you can log in uh, in uh, Android with VNC to to fix problems remotely right yes. uh, so we are not going into that in this movie but um, device management settings was the one you told me when we were waiting for the installation. That was where you needed to make an adjustment, right? Yes. So can you show us what you do there? Uh, so, okay. You need to active the uh, MDN service. Ah, okay. Enable that. Okay. The, okay. Now it's enabled. Okay. Cool. And do we need to do anything else? We need to reboot again. Ah, okay, so um, I can just do it with uh, power cycle? Yes. Yeah, okay, then uh, there we go. So the unit is off and the unit is turned on again. Um, so, okay, so the unit now is completely, completely configured, right? Yes. And we can now manage it from, from your notebook. We can, uh, on the Emteria homepage, we can manage this device, right? Yes. So, um, what, what can we show to, uh, to the customer that is uh, easy uh, that they see that? Uh, I think the easiest uh, thing is that we launch an app from your console, right? Yeah. Uh, from, from the empty area, right? Uh, so how do you do that? Can you show us? Yes, we need to back to the Anteria homepage and uh, choose the device management hyperlink. Okay, so that is devices and then management, okay. Yes. So we are there. And you will see the device already online status now. Uh, okay, yeah, so you can see there if the unit is online and can be found in the interior cloud or not, correct? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And so device name, you can change that so that you know actually which unit that is, correct? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, okay, let's, let's go in there because we only have one unit, so that is this one here. Yeah, so we can check the device no matter hardware information or system status, 
and the remote control apps. Oh, okay, so we can see the version of Android um, installed on the device, we can see how much memory is, uh, is available, all these things we can see, right? Yes. Uh, so if the device is offline, we see the last online date uh, time, I see, so you know when you lost connection to the device. So for this demo here, we have a camera and we have a little setup here, so let's do um, remote launch from the interior back end dashboard and let's launch the camera on uh, on our dev kit. Can you do that? Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. And that goes very quickly and we get a um, notice. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, I understand that because uh, it's, uh, it's the first time we start the camera, so we actually need to give the camera white uh, permissions to save the pictures and the movie. So uh, can you press next, Derek? And here, while using the app, click there. Okay. Okay. So now we uh, we okay. But let's do this one more time. Okay. okay. So on the unit, uh, I just stop the camera and now what I want you to do is start the camera again okay okay there we are and up oh, there we are yes uh, so yeah this is all working uh, this was just a simple example you can launch any app from remotely uh, so um, uh, that should uh, just prove the concept that you use your notebook to actually uh, start a camera. And so, okay, um, if you are building Android on an embedded device and you want to understand more what Amteria uh, can do and uh, you have other questions that you want to chat with us, send an email to sales at technaction.com and we are more than happy to uh, to discuss with you what is possible and we can uh, we can uh, climb in the phone uh, open a teams meeting with you just to see how we and Amteria can help you to make your embedded android uh, application uh, successful okay we hope this movie was interesting for you and um, we will be back soon with more okay bye for now